When I graduated from the University of Michigan, I had the opportunity to uh, travel to Boston to go to Harvard Medical School, and it was really stepping out on a ledge for me. I'd uh, Sure, I'd spent a year in D.C. in high school, and I had moved away from home to go to the University of Michigan, but uh, moving to the East Coast and potentially staying there for a number of years was very frightening to me. Um, I remember waffling over the decision about, should I stay or should I go? And I had the um, very strong support of my parents who actually would not make the decision for me. And they said, no, this is your life, your choice. You make the decision. And to this day, my mother still won't tell me where she wanted me to go to medical school. <laughs> Right after high school, I went to Oakland University for two years. Then I went to GRCC for about three years. Now I'm at Grand Valley. I want to go into social psychology, and I want to go into counseling. I wanted to try to get my certification in it as a child life specialist, possibly later on, and then go on to my master's for social psychology and possibly use that in the hospital setting. As a young professional, I've also kind of taken time that might have been spent pursuing a relationship, getting married, having children, to become a physician, to train in residency. Um, and my, uh, the women in my family never made me feel that that was wrong or that I should be doing something else. So I never felt restricted. So I feel women can, you can be a wife, you can be a mother, you can be a stay-at-home mom, you can work 60 hours a week as long as you feel that you're validated as a person. That's what's important. With my learning disability, I don't make it like a crutch or, you know, it, it defines me because that's not me. It's just a part of me and it's something that I need to overcome. But it, without it, I don't think I would accomplish as much, you know, like if I didn't have it, would I work as hard in school? I always ask myself that question. Would I want to know as much as I do now? Would I love in reading as much as I do now? Would I take on harder subjects just to challenge myself to the next level because of this? I don't know, you know, so it's, it's kind of interesting when I look back at it. I would say to her to see and nurture your potential. Um, you are capable of great things, uh, awesome contributions to your community, no matter how you define that. Um, just keep going on your path and don't let anything slow you down. I would tell her to take it all in, every moment in as much as possible, because it will definitely carry with you for the rest of your life. And I think going off to college it will help you make your decisions, but just make sure that by winning this award that you hold to it, you know, and I think that's important, hold to yourself.